the adventure continues from Petra. Now we're headed to Wadi Rum out in the middle of nowhere. Hey guys, this is insane. Da, 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 da. It's about a 90 minute drive from Petra. All visitors arrive to the Wadi Rum Visitor Center. It is the first building you will see on the right as you reach the perimeter of the desert. Here they sign in everyone entering. The Visitor Center was established by the community as a meeting place. Here I switched from my driver to a 4x4 Jeep and entered the desert. I'm in the back of a Jeep. We're going to the camp. It's I think 102 degrees. He told me I would be more comfortable back here. All right. A UNESCO-listed must-see desert destination known as the Valley of the Moon, there is an amazing concentration of natural beauty here. Coming to Wadi Rum was somewhat of a last-minute decision for me, and it turned out to be an unexpected, amazing surprise. The warm, peaceful time here with the beautiful Bedouin family I met was something you are lucky to experience once in your life. It is so windy. I stayed at the Wadi Rum Bedouin Camp. It is owned and operated by a local Bedouin family, members of the El Zalabe tribe who have lived in the desert for generations. I wanted to support the local Bedouin community and have a traditional experience. Simply put, a trip here is also a cultural experience. I spent most of my time with Ibrahim, who told me beautiful stories of his childhood and life as a Bedouin over a cup of tea. Afterwards, he took me out for a Jeep tour. The Mars-like desert landscapes host a variety of prehistoric rock art, inscriptions, and historic ruins. Taking a cruise around the neighborhood. It's so peaceful. Wow, check it out. After climbing the rocks, which was so much fun, I spent time with this friend over an organic herbal cup of tea. I've never tasted something so good. We continued exploring the area where I saw the footprints of the Nabantines etched into the red sand rocks. Our next stop was Kazali Canyon, a deep, narrow opening in the mountainside containing many more inscriptions on the canyon wall. You can just imagine what life is like there. Tall rocks, fig trees, and what felt like was a little Indiana Jones. <laughs> The next stop was what people think is Lawrence of Arabia's house, which now just looks abandoned. But I most enjoyed sitting and playing games in the sand with Ibrahim and learning more about the Bedouin life. It made me realize that those who have such a simple life are the happiest. Wadi Rum is also a place where several movies shot scenes, including most recently Disney's Aladdin, Matt Damon's The Martian, Star Wars Rogue One, and it all started with Lawrence of Arabia in 1962. It is my pleasure that you dine with me in Wadi Rum! And dine we did. Zarb is the traditional Bedouin style of cooking underground. There are platters of chicken and whole root vegetables that barbecue for three to five hours. After hours of slow cooking, the steaming Zarb is removed from the pit and we eat together as a family. After dinner, we all gathered outside, laid on comfortable mattresses, and stargazed over an evening cup of tea. It was just the perfect way to end the night to a perfect day in the desert. Remember, today is a gift. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Make every day count.